The battle between Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos has been going on for years now, and it all stems down from their competition in the aerospace industry. SpaceX vs. Blue Origin A man who got used to winning over this past decade but was outperformed by an upstart one-upping him at every turn until he lost out completely last time around. Welcome to Financial Market TV. If you're new to the channel and enjoy content like this, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Also, please don't hesitate to share your comments down below and give this video a like. Let's get started. In November of 2015, Jeff Bezos tweeted about controlled landing. Not easy, but if done right, it can look easy. Bezos was ecstatic about his accomplishment in space, which he constantly boasted about. SpaceX, though, had already done this many years ago. Elon Musk replies to base of his tweet by stating, SpaceX did six suborbital flights three years ago and is still around by 2019. The rivalry had grown even hotter since Bezos stated, my friends who want to move to Mars, I tell them, I ask you one favor, live on top of Mount Everest for a year and see whether it's a garden paradise compared with Mars. Now, Jeff Bezos has had enough of not only SpaceX but also of Tesla. Knowing that he didn't have the time or knowledge to take on Tesla, Jeff Bezos started by backing companies that opposed Elon Musk's vision of the future. For example, on February 7, 2019, Bezos helped a self-driving startup named Aurora secure $530 million in funding. Just seven months later, in September of 2019, Bezos invested in a firm called Griffith which is one of Tesla's rivals. The money, along with the purchase, he also ordered 100,000 delivery trucks to be delivered by 2024. Bezos' purchase of the post was an ill-advised and emotional expenditure. Tesla has far superior EV technology and also has a rumored van coming out within the next few years. Nonetheless, Bezos continued with his investment. And at the time, he didn't appear to have a strategy in place to compete with Tesla. In June of 2020, based on his launch of Amazon's venture capital fund named Climate Pledge, revealed deeper ambitions. The description of the fund clearly demonstrated that Bezos was attempting to take on Tesla. He said the fund will aid in developing cleaner transportation, energy generation, and storage plus use. The same strategy that Elon Musk employed. Tesla's move to a fully integrated long-term energy business this year marked the start of the firm's transition, where you have solar creating the energy, then the stationary battery pack, the power wall, and power pack storing the energy. Then the energy is used in an electric vehicle based on claims that the planet, money, and fund would speed up humanity's path to a zero-carbon future, which is suspicious especially similar to Tesla's goal to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energies with this venture capital fund basis that would invest in companies all around the world. Essentially, Bezos made an anti-Tesla portfolio. Despite the ambitious objectives, the fund started with just $2 billion, which is far from Amazon's market capitalization of $1.5 trillion. He realized he needed to go bigger, which is why Zooks come into play. After Zooks was class-stealing intellectual intellectual property from Tesla, Bezos saw a bargain in Zooks, and he pounced on it. Zooks intended to not simply develop the self-driving software required for autonomous vehicles, but also to design its own electric vehicle, which was a perfect match for Bezos. His plan to take on this vehicle was the manifestation of future luxury as the vehicle had no steering wheel whatsoever and had a futuristic quad design. So you can see, we have 25% of the vehicle. The full vehicle is formed by three additional instances of 25%. What this implies in terms of system architecture is the vehicle's design. If we move one node here, we see that in real time. In terms of tooling and testing, it means that we only need to design 25% of the components to make 100% of the car. It also builds in redundancy. So, in each quadrant of the car, we have independent motors. 
we have independent batteries, and we have independent processing. So if any one of the quadrant of the car fails, for some reason, the other three quadrants could still arrest the vehicle. It's like the 747. The four engines, so building in a very high level of redundancy is very important for system architecture with Bezos. It's in his vision to outcompete Tesla. Finally, it was becoming apparent that Bezos was a copycat. The conflict between Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos has never been more intense. And it's no surprise, because Bezos, who appears to be jealous of Elon's success in sustainable energy, and Rockets is attempting to compete with Tesla. Do you think that's a smart decision? Let us know in the comment down below. Thanks for watching the whole video. Again, if you're new and like this type of content, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to leave a comment down below and hit that like button. Also, click on the notification bell to get updated on our weekly uploads. See you in the next video.